So we're gonna give the brows a little cleanse with the Be Pampered cleanser. We wanna make sure that it's all very nice and clean so it grabs the tint. So today we're gonna to use colors four and five mixed together because I want a little bit of warmth in there, but I don't want it to be too dark, like black, like number six. So you just wanna apply it to the natural brow shape. You can give it a little extra arch if you want, but I don't recommend going too far off the natural color, natural brow. So once you basically have it all over the brow, you wanna clean it up with a damp Q-tip, just to get some nice clean lines in there. You can basically use any kind of brow shaping technique that you know of. I personally like to follow the natural brow line because we're just enhancing the natural beauty. So once you've cleaned up the shape on both sides, you can go back over with the henna and just kind of fill in all the little bald spots. Make sure we get an even coverage. Now I recommend setting the timer for five minutes and then taking off the head of the brow and seeing where we're at. Cause we want the head of the brow to be lighter than the tail anyways. So we're gonna take it off first. So once your five minutes is up, you wanna just remove, let's say about half a centimeter from the middle of the brow. This way you can check to see how dark it is. If we wanna go darker, we can leave it on a little bit longer. Just make sure you keep it nice and clean because wherever it sits, it's gonna stain. So I think we're gonna wanna keep it on a little bit longer. So I'm gonna set the timer for another five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. So we're just gonna take a little bit more off just to see what color we got under there. Okay, so I like the color, but I want the tails to be really dark. So I'm gonna leave this on for another five minutes. Also a trick you can do is re-wet the Q-tip and re-wet the henna. Because once it starts drying, it's gonna stop activating. Okay, so now we're ready to remove the rest of the eyebrow.
So I'll give it a little brush. And then we're ready to clean it up with a wax. So you can wax or tweeze but I find waxing just gives it a nice crisp line. So finally just give it a little clean with an antiseptic. And you're done. <laughs> How long will it last? So it'll last about 10 to 14 days on the skin um, and then about six to eight weeks on the hair. So it actually, henna is really good for your hair. It coats the hair. Um, so it's really good for eyebrow growth. Whereas a traditional tint would last about four weeks on the hair and it actually dehydrates the hair. So this is actually really good for eyebrow growth. Awesome.